tayo po ay nasa book of John ako, no? So, uh, siguro for almost ilang weeks na po yung book of John. So, this is our 19th week. So, ang nakatawa po sa book of John, kasi two chapters na po matatapos po sa book of John. So, pero na pong panibagong libro, yung tawag nang po dito. Wala na. Sabi na kami. Brad, pag nag-explain ka ng joke mo, alam namin ganun pala rin mo. So, minsan po mapapansin natin, no? there, there are things in life that God has given us na minsan we have to rediscover and sometimes we have to revisit. The reason for that, because so, ano no, pa, parang uh, ang nakakatawa kasi, no? sometimes we know how to learn. But sometimes the problem we have is that we forget what we have learned. And sometimes we have to learn those things again. Ang nakakatawa, no, Pag natutunan mo na, masasayang sa sarili, Al, nadaanan ko na to, alam ko na to eh. Ba't ko pa kailangan daan? Because ang katotohanan ko, no, there are some lessons na minsan nakakuha po natin, but we have not really in a sense uh, have all of the dimension of the lesson. So when we go back with the book of John, alam po natin ang story na para bang when we look at the book of John, this is the story of Jesus Christ. Binanong po talaga, no? when, when we talk about this, the gospel, this is the story of Jesus Christ. And from time to time, no, mapapansin po natin na the things that you know are sometimes the things that you just assume. And means that the things that you assume will be a problem in your life one day. So, ang magandang tanong, no? Meron po sa itbulagan na sinasabi, huwag kang judgmental. Which is true naman, okay? But there are some cases na minsan sa mga Christian ministries, sa mga Christian leaders, never assume it is always better that you do it. No. Tayo tayo po yung manalangin. Lord, we thank you for your grace. We thank you, God, for today. Lord, we know na everything is in your hands. Everything, Lord, God, all of the worries that we have, all of the concerns that we have. Alam namin, Panginoon, na mahal na mahal mo kami. And you have proven that many times in our lives. And Lord, we also know that everything that we have, every limitation that we have of knowing you, you always give us your grace. You always give us, Lord God, the strength that we need, even the peace, Lord God, even the wisdom that we need to know you deeply, to know you fully. Lord, right now, we would like, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit to just minister individually, Lord God, sa puso po namin. If there are things, Lord God, that we need to learn, Lord, we ask, to have an open heart and open mind, to have that, Lord God, an openness of spirit that we will always receive fully from you. And Lord, we ask for forgiveness for things that we have committed in word, in thought, and in deed. And Lord, we just claim that the blood of Jesus is covering, Lord God, the sanctuary of ECF. Lord, we pray na kami pong magkakapanin dito that you have called under one blood and under one faith. We'll always be able, Lord God, to learn from one another. We'll be able, Lord God, to also lean to one another. Not only, Lord God, on the things that we know, but of the things, Lord God, that you are showing us through the process. Lord, we thank you that you are good. And we, Lord, we thank you again because you are really good. This is what we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So, lessons in John chapter 19 po. No? Mapapansin natin sa John chapter 19, marami na pong interaction. Okay? So, may interaction na po si Jesus kay sa mga... Wow. <laughs> Tapos na po ang ating sermon for that. <laughs> But, pero po ba nag-ahap ng aking, ano, ng aking PowerPoint? Wala naman po. Wala naman po kayo makukuha niya na masama. Lahat po yan ay biblical based naman po. So, lesson si John chapter 19. So, actually, no, ang, ang, ang John chapter 19 po is bahagi po sa ng John chapter 18. Obvious naman, Pastor. Okay. So, <laughs> yung story po na kinukuha ko is from John chapter 18 going to John chapter 19 because this is supposed to be the story na nangwara po si Jesus Christ kay Pontius Pilato. Okay. So, uh, ang, 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 ang understanding po natin, no, going back to John chapter 18, nakakuha na po ni, na, na, ng mga religious leaders si Jesus Christ tapos nang dinelo na po siya. No. Actually, no, there, there are three times na mapapansin natin, no, uh, meron pong sa place ng high priest, meron pong sa place ni Herod at meron pong sa place ni Pontius Pilate. So, mahilig po talaga si God sa tatlo. Okay. Kaya meron po tayong Trinity. Okay, malalim po yun. Okay. So, pag, pag, pag panigisipan po natin, no, bakit kailangan pa humarap si Jesus Christ kay Pontius Pilate? 
one of the reasons supposedly because uh, the Jews were under rule and they cannot supposedly have a death sentence. Kaya mapapansin po natin no, sa mga next uh, verses po, sa mga chapters na mapapansin natin, talagang kailangan, technically, wrong ang papatay kay Jesus Christ. Kasi may mga ano yan, they're under room. So, basahin lang po natin, no? so John chapter 19, verse 1 to 16. So, minsan po, ang reading ability ko is one word per hour. Okay lang po, na matapos tayo hanggang Friday. Sa mga loob, basta huwag mo namin kulitin. Okay, so tayo po yung magsamala na mo. So, John chapter 19, verse 1 to 16. So, tayo po ay mag-alternate reading. It means mean, mean, mean to say, no, magbabasa po ako, oh, tas kayo po hindi. Tas magbabasa po kayo, tas ako po hindi. Tama po, na ganyan po ang alternate reading. Ginugulo ko lang po talaga yan. No? So, gawin ko po lahat po ng number na odds tas tumala po ako. Tas lahat po kayo even. Tama po? Tama po? Okay. So, simulan lang po natin. Okay, John chapter 19 verse 1 to 16. Then, balik, took Jesus and clogged him. Okay, kayo po? So, Okay, salamat po sa ating speech for. They came up to him saying, Hail, King of the Jews, and struck him with their hands. Okay po? So medyo ano po, no? alam natin, no? many times nang nagsalta si Pontius Pilate in Jesus Christ, ang laging sasabi ni, ni, ni Pontius Pilate, pag inaaral ni, 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 ni Pontius Pilate si Jesus Christ, I find no guilt in him. So, talagang nasente po ang Panginan natin. Ha? So, ako po. So, Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Pilate said to them, Behold the man. Okay, so, nitulusin po no, yung mga American culture na lagi siya, George the man, no, para mang baka dito po talaga kinuha. No? Pero siyempre, ang ibig sabihin mo, oh, you're the man, ibig sabihin, ikaw yung pinakaparang center of tension, ikaw yung magaling, ikaw yung talagang Kung katusin mo, ito yung tinag ng badass. No? Ito yung talagang uh, makikas. Ito yung pinaka... Yun na yun. Okay. So, verse 6 kayo po. Okay. I find no guilt in him. Second time, no? Actually, uh, three times po yata yung I find no guilt in him. The Jews answered him, We have a law. And according to that law, we ought to die because he has made himself the son of God. Okay, verse 8 po tayo. Ano yung mo, no? Hindi mo alam, Pilate, natakat pa siya because of the claim that he is the son of God or another thing. So, medyo maganda po siguro, no, na, na pag once in a while, we, we need to reflect Bakit si Pontius Pilate during time, one of the leaders na mayroong authority is a traitor? Para bang, no, para bang kung ikaw ang presidente ng Pilipinas ngayon, na ba dapat ang ikatakot mo? China is a friend, sabi ng ating presidente. But apart from that, mayroon ba talaga? Kung ikaw yung pinaka most powerful person na ito. Ang wala. Okay, verse 9 kayo pa. Where are you from? But Jesus gave him no answer. Ito po, dahil manakos si Christ na tanong. Parang nangisip natin, no, there are times that Jesus, will, Jesus Christ will reply, there are times na parang tahinig lang. No? Kung kayo po ay nagkaroon po ng away ng inyong significant other or may bahay, alam niyo na po, may biblical, may biblical pattern na po doon. Ang tawag po doon ay silent treatment. Wala po yata may may asawa dito, no? so wala pa po naka-experience, please ba naman po tayo. Okay, so, uh, verse 10, kayo pa. So, I said to you, you will not stay to me. You will not stay to me. You will not stay to me. Maling, no? May authority pala sa file. File. Ang nagkamali po ako, patawarin niyo po ako, no? Tao lang. And Jesus answered him, You would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given you. Oh, my God. Dito na po damalabas yung sovereignty ni God. Therefore, he who delivered me over to you has the way to see. 
Ito po na po yung mga Hulyo at yung mga Pharisees. Eh kayo po? Everyone who makes himself a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment, on the judgment seat at a place called the Stone Pavement, and in Ramaik, Gabata. Hey, pa. Now, the day of When they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. So, we shall put that verse 16. So he delivered the game over to them to be crucified. So, minsan, no, na, na, ang, ang medyo naka... Um, ano ba yung magandang term dito? Yung nakaka-inis. When, when, when you try to read this for their story, no? Kung nangyayari sa, sa contemporary times po natin ngayon, no? para bang a lot of people will say, Uh, violation ng human rights. Tama po. No? Para bang alam natin walang fair representation, wala man lang due process, para bang ganito nangyari. No? But, but when we try to go back to their time, when we try to go back to their time, religious authority, political authority, does not really, in a sense, provide complete justice. At ganyan rin po sa ating buhay po ngayon. Uh, even though we have a judicial system, po, no? even though we have lawyers, we have defense attorney, you have prosecutors, you have, meron man, no? parang RTC, Regional Trial Court, MPC, Manila Trial Court, uh, Manila, Manila Trial Court, akala ko masasabi ko yung college ko, no? Manila Trial Court College, no? tapos Court of Appeals and Supreme Court, no? marami, no? para ba yung dinadaanan, just supposedly to ensure that justice will be done. But that is the point that we have uh, that, that, that we have a problem. Can a man really provide justice for all? Kapon po, no? uh, nagpunta po kami ni Mises sa Victory Pasay. So, meron po kami kinuha mga halaman doon. No? So, during that time, dapat Victory ko ba? Kasi mas familiar ako. So, It, 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 it is the first time na nagmaneho po ulit ulit ako sa EDSA na ganun kahaba. Kasi, alam na po ng marami, no? Uh, marami po nagbago sa EDSA. Nagkaroon po ng busway, nagkaroon pa ng CCTV, nagkaroon pa na... So, ako po, sabi ko, I'm, I'm just relying on the things na, 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 na natatanda ko dati. But syempre, during that time, ang natatawa ko, sabi ko, even though alam ko yung lugar, even though alam ko magpunta ng Victory Passage, but ang dami ng pagpabago. Nang minsan, minsan mo papansin mo, no? As you go along the way, even though you know the direction, there are things in your life na feeling mo, uncertain ka na. Tama po? Kaya po ba habang tumatagal kayo sa Christian life nyo, there are things in your life na feeling mo, uncertain ka minsan sa buhay mo. And sometimes to ito mga uncertainties na to becomes a challenge to us. This becomes a challenge to us kasi minsan as time goes on, para bang It becomes uncertain to you, and sometimes along the way, there might be a question or challenge that concerns your faith. This particular passage that we're trying to study, po, no? at least there are at least two major challenges. Po. The challenge for needs we Pontius Pilate, and the challenge that we have on the text. Kasabi po sa katabi niya, challenge. When was the last time na sinayo po ng, 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 ng kaibigan niya challenge, no? Siguro po sa basketball, sa baba, yung sa mga prank, no? hindi po yung kinakanta natin, no? Yung mga prank na para bang nagbibiro, tapos na may konting sakit, tapos mamaya away na. So yung parang ganun, no? Extreme po yung example ko, pero para matanda po natin, no? But sometimes, no? Comfortable po ba tayo sa mga uncertainties ng buhay natin? Siguro po, wala akong nyo sa akin, Pastor, comfortable ako sa mga uncertainties ng buhay. And, and that's the point. As you live your life, 
what is really certain in your life? As you live your life, what is really certain in your life? Ah, uh, yun. Naanap ko po yung t-shirt, tapos ginaganap ko po yun dito. Kung mamaya po, ma makuha ko yung susi ng sasakyan, tapos maklik ko, tapos biglang magbukas na. Ibang sitwasyon na yun. So, tingnan po natin, no? Nakarelate po ba kayo dito? Hindi na nga po kami smart. <laughs> Pero po sa mga kung hindi po sila smart, o oh, sige po, globe. Sige. So, smart people make bad decisions. Totoo po ba? O, oh, ah, uh, Alasin na lang po muna natin to Okay lang? People make bad decisions. Ito po? Okay, now. Okay lang po na, 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 na tumatas po ang video sa inyo na pwede po natin sabihin smart muna kayo. Kasi pareho rin naman ang result eh. Pwede po ba natin tanggapin muna yan? Na kayo po ay smart. And you also make bad decisions. O gusto nyo lang po na people lang po kayo make bad decisions. Tanggapin na po natin to even by faith. <laughs> maging ano na, <laughs> maging, maging graceful muna tayo sa sarili natin. No? Smart people make bad decisions. So ito po ang challenge ni Nate. This is one of the things na minsan sa mga papansin natin kay Paul is pilot. Matalino na siya eh. Hindi ka naman pwede, na, hindi ka naman pwede mapunta doon sa mataas na position na hindi ka matalino. No? Alam po natin no, na, 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 na may mga tao talaga na talagang pag nasa leadership position, merong wisdom, Meron galing, yung may iba naman talaga, meron gula, no? So, eh, katotohan na po yan. But when we look at Pauses Pilot, no, siguro the, the reason na nandun sa is technically both things, no? Para bang meron siyang connection, at the same time, gusto niya ma-expose, or at the same time, it could be a discipline sa kanya. Sige, Judy, yung pinakamagulong province ng Rome, maka magawa mo ng paraan. Kasi karamihan po, no, sa atin sa Pilipinas, pag meron pong mga leaders na medyo pasaway, saan po nilalagay? Karamihan po, no, kung PNP po yan, karamihan po sa Mindanao. Kasi, uh, I'm talking about personal experience po, na huwag po kayo magagal saan, kasi ang kapalit ko po ay naging police din po, at marami rin po ako naging kaibigan ng police. Kaya alam ko po, na minsan ang kwento sa akin, pag medyo pasawa yung mga ibang police, nalagay lang sa Mindanao. Okay? Yung may iba naman, na ibang government employee, ako po yung isang government employee rin po, minsan inaalis mo na sa may isang, isang office, tapos nalagay na sa ibang office naman. So, nililipat lang nila. No? So, ang tutusin natin, you didn't really solve the problem, you just transfer the problem. At least, no, para bang solusyon yun na, na lumalabas, no? But ang katotohanan po, no, we're just placing it in a different place na hindi evidence sa buhay natin. And, and the same thing with us as time goes on, no, yung challenges na hinaharap po ni Conscious Pilot will also be a challenge to us. And the lessons na meron po tayong makakuha doon will also be a lesson for us to grow. Tama po ba? So, sino po dito ang hindi po nag-grow na wala pong lesson? Karamihan po sa atin, no? karamihan sa atin na para bang nagkaroon po ng lesson in a hard way before lumago. Okay. So, smart people make bad decisions. Obvious naman po na as time goes on, hindi po na tayo, or minsan, no, even with us na napapansin ko, ako po yung 21 years old na po, no? So, Totoo po yan, hindi po ba yung plate yun. 15 years old na po ako. And as time goes on, minsan natatawa po kayo mag-asawa eh. Kasi minsan the way that we have our conversation, puhanin mo yun. Alin yun? Hindi masabi ng misis ko. Ako rin, hindi ko rin masabi sa misis ko kung ano yun. Parang nangyayari na as time goes on, no? parang alam natin, yung deterioration, yung degeneration ng ating mga mental faculties, humihina na po. Si Pastor Ray po ay malakas pa rin po. <laughs> So, hindi na po natin, no? at the crossroads of our lives, we will decide what we will do about Jesus. So, we'll probably let it sink in, no? Kasi so, when we look at history, maski hindi ka po nagbabasa ng Biblia, there will be a point that you will have the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You could say, no, apart from the Bible po, meron po mga historians like si Josephus, sa lahat na doon, that, 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 that they were able to really, in a sense, say that there's a historical figure na si Jesus Christ. Okay? 
And that is the point, no? Minsan ang mga iba, the, the, the only way that they're able to know Jesus Christ apart from the gospel is through secular works. But yun ang maganda, no? Sometimes, even though it's not yet the gospel, it points you to the gospel. Even though it's not yet the gospel, it points you to the gospel. Yung na-experience ko po kahapon, no? sabi ko kasi medyo talagang may salam na po talaga tayo. Sabi ko, alam ko ang victory liner malapit lang sa pasa eh, going to ano, sa kabilang side. So ako naman, so pani, tapos mga pesa ko, nagkamali na yata ako ng ano, ng, ng, ng tumbok. Imbis na magalianis, bawa ba ako ng magalianis, nangyari po, nagkamali ako. Napayuter po, na, 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 napupunta po ako ng SLEX. <laughs> Sabi ko, wala akong RFID, may cash pa ako. Sabi ko, alam ko, may nanatandaan na ako, basta bumaybaya akong kaliwa, tapos hindi mo basa ako ng papunta ng uh, Billamore Air Base. Tapos doon, dasal, dasal, habang nagmamanayot. Nag, nag, okay, nakabalik na kami. Pagdating na ulit sa magalari sa lalim, sabi ko, alam ko malapit ng meet ng victory. Even though wala pa po sa victory liner, nakita ko na po yung sign nila. Letter B. Sabi ko, victory liner na siguro yun. So, ano po ang pinapahint ko? Sometimes, no, direction pa lang of the gospel is as good as it gets. Because alam mo, malapit ka na sa gospel. Even though they do not know it, at least nasa tamang direction ka na ng buhay mo. And, and there are people, in a sense, oh, minsan, I do not really know about the gospel. Yes, but have you heard about Jesus Christ? Yes. May iba, no, mga sticker, no? But the point is, maski pa, no, they're already in the right direction. So, minsan, no, lahat naman po tayo, no, para bang ang tanahan sa buhay natin, nasa right direction ka na ba ng buhay mo? Especially kay God. Okay, tingin lang po sa katabi niya, baka sabihin niyo, nasa right direction ka na ba? Yung, yung pong, ano, yung pong nag-participate sa church, meron na po kayong recitation na 100 po. Yung the rest po, pag-isipan ko po kung ipapasa ko po kayo. <laughs> so at the process of our lives, we will decide what we will do about Jesus. So, bigyan lang po natin ng background note, we have at least two main characters, we have Pontius Pilate and we have Jesus Christ. Okay. So, ang background po natin na mamapansin kay Pontius Pilate, 10 years as prefect of Judea. Hindi po perfect yan, ang prefect means governor po na. So, siya po inilagay doon. So, 10 years na po siya. Even after Jesus Christ, he was serving. So, technically, after 10 years na. Ang, 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 hindi, ang hindi lang po malinaw sa akin kung paano po siya namatay. Meron po kasi may ibang sources, nag-commit siya ng suicide, mga masinabi na, na nasasunito po siya. So, I'm not really sure 100%. Okay? So, ang nabahal niya po as governor po ng Judea, maintaining peace and order. So, ang Judea po during that time, kasi po, no, ang, ang Jew hanggang maaari, ayaw nilang magpasakop sa ibang pansa. At the same time, they are preserving their uh, religious and uh, cultural identity. Collection of taxes po. Supervision of, uh, supervision of construction projects. So, isa lang po. No? So, ang room po talaga kilala sa uh, mga roads. Okay? And technically, siyempre po, he's serving under Caesar, which is supposedly, uh, ang mindset po kasi ng room, no? kung, kung mapapansin natin, no? based on their culture, ang king po is also a God. So, may iba po na matter nila, no? para bang God king. So, ganito po na malabas. No? Kaya minsan, no, there's some other things na minsan mapapansin natin pag nananod tayo ng pelikula. Ba't ganun ang mindset nila? May mga cultures na ang tingin nila sa kanilang katastasang kagaligalang na pinuno ay isang Diyos. Okay. Even po, no, ang, ang, when, 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 when I studied compa- comparative world religions, we do have religious na ganun po ang mindset ng isang mga leaders nila. Para pong talagang God king. Okay. So, si Jesus Christ po, ang background naman ito, alam na po natin to, three years in ministry, three and a half years in ministry, healing people, okay? So, teaching spiritual and moral truths, so, pwede nyo na po yung gospel, starting a discipleship movement, ang kilala po natin ngayon ay church, and dying for the sin of the world, or serving under God. Si Pontius Pilate po, mayaman, Jesus Christ in human. So, bakit po kailangan natin napag-usapan ito. Kasi nakita po natin, no, 
Kung alam mo ang isang pinuno ay mahirap at wala tayong power, tapos nang sinabi ng ano na, this person claims to be the son of God and he was more afraid. Bakit? You are a political leader. Under mo ang Judea. And why would you technically be afraid of somebody claiming to be the son of God? Kasi ko, nung minsan mapapansin natin sa buhay natin, eh, there will be a moment in our lives na minsan, yung comfort mo, yung ina-assume mo na merong ang security sa mundo, unti-unting binabasag ng Panginoon. Wala po talagang security sa mundo except the love of God. Kaya ko po sinasabi no, as time goes on, no, this pandemic, maraming tinuro sa atin, no, whether mayamang ka o mahirap ka, may trabaho ka, para bang maraming disruption ang nangyari sa buhay natin. The things that we assume that are forever, bigla nagbago. Maling jobless ka, yung dating mataas na kinikita mo, parang wala na. Tapos yung dating na ayaw maging dependent sa gobyerno, nagiging dependent ka, minsan ikaw na rin yung isang tao na dati ayaw mo na magkaroon ng ayuda. Pero ngayon, you're one of them. So, ganun po talaga, no? Sometimes, it takes an act of God for you to feel insecure in life. Sometimes it takes an, out, an act of God for you to feel insecure. We seldom realize that our lives, even though not recorded by historians, have a ripple effect on the lives of other people. Kung mapansin po natin, no, para bang si Ponce Spilet, alam niya ba na recorded ang kanyang buhay based on the gospel? Siguro hindi, no? But, but ang, ang, ang mga religious, even political leaders, they will always have a document. They will always have a record. Kaya nga po mga hudyo, no, they have their names open. These are supposedly uh, recorders of the documents. Even in Rome, they, they, they do have uh, historians. But ang challenge sa atin, no, if your life will be recorded, will you be happy? that your life will have an influence on the lives of other people? Or in a sense, will you be a person na medyo natatakot ka? Kasi sooner or later, malalaman nila kung saan ka nagkamit. At malaman nila kung saan ka mahina. Di ba, for the past year na natandaan ko natin, no, yung, yung ministry ni Rabbi Sakarias nag-suffer sila because marami na lumabas uh, uh, sexual uh, charges against Rabbi Sakarias. And, and Rabbi Sakarias is, is already dead. Okay. And, and he can never depend himself. Okay. And, 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 and the point taken is this, no? Sometimes people assume that you're good because they do not know where are you bad. Kasi ganun naman talaga, di ba? Alam ng tao, magaling ka. Kasi hindi nila alam kung saan ka mahina. Hindi nila alam kung saan ka nag-struggle. But that's what life is. And that's what makes God so good. Kasi you don't need to pretend. You just need to be authentic and humble before God. Don't struggle with it. Which is a good thing. Kasi people who struggle know how to draw strength from God. Pakasabi po sa katabi nga, nag-struggle ka ba ngayon? Nag-struggle ka ba ngayon? Do you draw strength from God? Wala pong sumagot nung para bang kaya ko to sa kaya ko to po sa <laughs> So ito na po tayo na ito po ang ating first point The challenges of Pontius Pilate The problem with the Jews Ito po yung sinasabi ng karamihan na, na kinakot natin Box Bopoli Box Day The voice of the people is the voice of God In this particular instance mali po Kasi po ang problema ng mga Hudyo during this time, they were asking Jesus Christ to die on the cross. Actually, no, ang, 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 ang death talaga. But ang point lang natin dito, no, why would a people 
na nakita tayong three and a half years of ministry ni Jesus Christ na nagpagaling at nagturo ng tama at nagturo papunta sa Diyos Ama. Pa nagbigay ng examples about salvation made a lot of things that made people well. Wala naman masama dun. He was growing the crowd. He was healing people. He was teaching the truth. And the people, lumangod yun. In a sense, di ba nila na-recognize siya? Di ba nila na-appreciate yun? Di ba nila, in a sense, naging aware na this person na gusto mong mamatay, wala naman talagang ginawang masama sa iyo. Kasi yun, ang mapapansin natin na para bang during the time that Jesus Christ was alive on earth, marami siyang bangga, nabangga na cultural religious practices na mali. But siyempre, alam naman natin no, that, 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 that the full story that Jesus Christ will die for the sins of the world. But when we try to look upon this, bakit hindi na-appreciate ng mga hundyo ang nagawa ni Jesus Christ? Misan, ganun ang story natin no, when we look at the Old Testament. During that time ng no, mga hundyo, when they were asking, inalis mo kami sa Egypt, pupunta tayo sa desierto, nandito sa desert, na, na, sa desierto. Tapos nun, it's better na nasa Egypt kami kasi kumakain kami ng kami. And what God did? Ang ginawa ng Panginoon during that time, sige, nagyan kayo ng mana. Yung mana po, yung, yung bread from heaven na tinatawag nila, no? Nagyan sila ng mana to eat. Nagsawa sa mana. They're asking for fresh. Nagyan ng meat. Binagay ng mga quails. Kulang sa tubig. The Lord has provided for them. But in spite of the provisions of the Lord, in spite of the good things that God has done for them, they are asking to do something bad about them. Kasi minsan no, we don't realize how sinful we are. That the good things that God has provided for us, we take it for granted. That the good things that God has given us, as time goes on, kasi nasani na tayo, wala nang masyadong halagin. Kasi naging, para bang sinasabi natin, we go to God, pag binigay sa atin ni God, God is good. Pero pag hindi binigay ni God, God is not good. And that is the problem ng pagiging tao. That is the problem ng pagiging isang sinner. Kasi even though we are saved by the grace of God, yung nature and the capacity of sin for us to lose who God is, nandiyan pa rin. Kaya na, we really need to devote ourselves to prayer. Pero minsan mapapansin natin, no? sometimes, dahil wala tayong nakikitang sagot kagad, or sometimes, parang, Lord, does it really make sense? Sometimes, because the answer is very long, o matagal talaga, and we give up, and we give it up. Parang wala na. This is the problem of the Jews, and sometimes this is also our problem. Of all the things that God has given us, we still rely on our own Lord. Kung saan tayo convenient, kung saan tayo portable, kung ano yun na distant na. Because sooner or later, no, habang dumalaling tayo sa Panginoon, binabangga, binabago, binabasag ng Panginoon, yung mga bagay sa buhay natin na kasalanan pa rin. People are asking you to make decisions that will make them happy at your own place. Parang ganda no, ikaw si Paul's pilot, tapos binigay sa'yo si Jesus Christ, gusto nila patay si Jesus Christ. Pero ikaw, you find it yourself, walang guilt naman eh. Dapat nakalaya na ito eh. Pero ang gusto ng mga hudyo, you decide for ourselves na dapat mamatay siya. Pero sino ang mananagot? Technically, parang si Paul's pilot, kasi sa yung may authority. This is an example, no? Nang minsan mapapansin natin, no? Sino ba nagmamaneho dito? Salamat po. 
Sino po dito may sports car? Wala po, no? Buti naman, kasi wala rin ako sports car. <laughs> Nalo ko lang, no? Minsan, no, pag ikaw yung nagmamaneho, kaya minsan ikaw yung, let's say, yung, yung professional driver, tapos na merong sumakay na taong hindi sumusunod sa face mask, sa face shield, ano, sino ba kawawa? Yung driver po, no? Okay. Kaya ako sinasabi na, 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 na minsan, no, nagbibirang po kami ni, ni, ni Mrs. na para bang Sabi ni Mrs., para ko nalimutan ko yung face mask ko? Para ko nalimutan yung face shield ko? Sabi ko, di ako kawawa. Ano gagawin ko? Pwede ko bang sabihin sa Mrs. ko? Una tayong tumuloy, bumaba ka na, para ako na lang. Hindi, di ba? What was the point? The point is sometimes there are people who are asking to make a decision that will make them happy but at your own expense. Parang experience ko po nung no, nasa office ako, I have one of those people na Sabi na, Sir, oh, ano problema nito? Ganyan, ganyan. Maraming sinabi yung, 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 yung kasama sa office. Tapos sinasabi ko, oh, tapos pinasa sa akin. Sir, mag-design ko na kick up na yan. Ba't ako mag-design? Ikaw nga kong mausap, no? Eh, ikaw ang ganda eh. Sabi na, parang ang mindset. Parang gusto, dahil, dahil masama loob niya sa studyante, gusto niya mangyari, ako ang pamatay dun sa studyante. Kick up mo na yan. Okay, guidance counselor ako, hindi naman ako sanction, di ba? But what's the point? There are people like that na minsan na para bang binibigay sa'yo ang isang problema, tapos na ikaw mag-decide sa problema na yon. happy sila na meron decision, but ikaw naman, ikaw yung sasabugan ng problema. And, and this is the thing na minsan mapapansin natin yung conscious practice. Kaya sinabi nga eh, may batas naman kayo, judging based on your law. Pero binalik pa rin na kay Pontius Pilate. Kaya this is one, one of the questions of Pontius Pilate eh. Para bang ikaw mismo, alam mo dapat you will be maintaining peace and order. And there's already a popular opinion na dapat pati na si Jesus Christ. But you still find no guilt. Hmm. And that's a challenge misa no, as a leader. May mga gusto ang mga tao na alam mo mali. Pero kung ikaw ay isang politiko, pagbibigyan mo. But kung ikaw ay isang moral na pinuno, alam mo mo. Another thing that, that, that we have is the problem of justice. Pasabi mo sa tabi niyo, justice? Okay. Kung medyo matagal na po, no? at uh, mabot po tayo ng five days sa aking pong sermon, justice na lang po kayo. Okay lang po? Okay. So, the problem of justice. So, ang assumption kasi sa, sa justice, no? Para bang lahat, pag binigyan mo ng justice, everybody will be happy. Parang isang isang pamilya, no? Parang kung lima sila at may isang tosino na ano, hati-hati mo sa lima, everybody will be happy. But technically, no? Minsan, no, para bang sasabihin ng mas lima kayo, at hinati sa lima yan, meron isa pa rin, meron pa rin isa sa pamilya na sasabihin, kung lang. Bitin. Unpill. Wag din natin na yun hanggang mare. Kasi yung problema natin, no? justice does not mean equality. And justice does not mean everybody will be satisfied. If we are honest with ourselves, hindi, hindi, hindi naman natin ginagirakan ng mga magulang natin, no? Yung experiences lang po ba natin sa mga kamay ng ating mga magulang? Do you think 100% you were really satisfied with the decisions of your parents? Hindi po, no? Right? Kung ikaw ay may asawa at meron kang katipan, do you think 100% ng treatment ng iyong kabiyak, ng iyong katipan, ng iyong asawa, satisfied ka? Hindi, no? Pero alam mo, yung magulang mo, mahal ka. Alam mo yung kapiyak mo, yung kapuso mo, mahal ka. Even though deep inside, alam mo, hindi 100% you will be fully satisfied with the treatment na binibigay sa iyo. But deep inside, it's good enough na alam mo, mahal ka. Kasi love starts to make you happy because justice will never be made happy. Kasi saan lumalabas yung justice? Minsan yung justice sa atin para bang 
yung expectation mo sa ibang tao na ibibigay sa iyo. That is a sense of fairness. But when we look at when we really look, when we really look at it, yung bang sense of fairness will it be 100% absolute and comprehensive? Hindi. That's the reason we should be happy as a starting point na ang foundation kung paano tinitreat ng magulang mo o ng asawa mo o ng katipan mo at kabiyak mo ay nandun ang pagmamahal. It's not perfect but it's the best start for you to learn how to live to the person. Ganun rin si God sa akin. Anak, hindi 100% na feeling mo ay para sa'yo ay ibibigay ko. Ibibigay ko yan on the right time when you're ready, when you become aware of the gift. At the same time, when you will take action and appreciate it. May mga bahagi ng buhay natin na binibigyan din ng halaga kung kailang wala na. And the good thing is this. God can restore the things that life has taken away from you. Kaya minsan mapapansin natin, no? Yung sinabi ng mga disciples, Lord, we have left our family for you. Ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, yung reassurance niya, you will gain more than your family. Isa gano'n naman si God eh. Si God, pag tinawag ka, feeling mo, kulang ka. Which is good. Kasi si God naman ang magpupuno sa iyo eh. Pero as time goes on, when you are in ministry, and you have experienced a lot of things, at feeling mo, maraming pa rin kulang, sometimes you have to ask yourself the question, Lord, baka ang focus ko is not in how you are providing for me. Baka ang focus ko kung saan ka nakulang sa akin. And sometimes yun ang problema natin. No? There will be things in our lives na piling natin kulang si God sa buhay natin. Balik ako, no? medyo masakit po yung statement ko. No? So patawarin niyo po ako kung nasaktan ko pang motion siya. There are times na piling mo kulang si God sa buhay mo. Kasi when you start comparing yourself with other people, ba't sila may anak? Ba't sila maganda ang bahay? Ba't sila ang ganda ng misis? Ba't sila may boyfriend? Ba't sila nakatapos? Ba't sila supposed to be? Kung naging magulang ko lang sila, siguro baka-honor na rin ako. Baka my life will be different. Probably. Maybe. We're not so sure. But the moment you start to compare yourselves with the lives of other people, hindi pa umiyak na may pinagpawisan lang po. No? Kasi dahil meron po tayong ring light po dito, mga 1,000 volts po yan, kaya ako po yung nasusulog na rin. Dahil minibiro ko lang po kayo. No? Okay. There are times in your life that when you start comparing yourself with other people, feeling mo sigat po na. But ang problema mo kasi is when you start comparing yourself with other people. But when you start comparing yourself with God alone, hindi naman magpukulang sigat sa iyo. Ang challenge lang is, Lord, help me focus on you because the things of the world will always cause me to lose focus. Justice is the delicate balance between what is right and what is reasonable. Lahat po ng utang natin, nabayaran natin. Individually, no? Ako, no, uh, Sinasabi ko po ito, no? siguro this is an example. In my younger years in ministry, ako po ay mahilig magsulat nung wala po masyadong email na nun. Minsan may, sina- may sinalatang po ako na, ano, may sinalatang po ako na ministry, I requested a Bible kasi nakita ko eh, no? hindi ko lang kung $5 or $10 siya tayo. And, 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 and I mentioned, if, if you will give me this Bible, kasi maganda yung Bible eh, I will pay you within a year. Lakas ng paper. I forgot the name of the ministry. Yung Bible na gamit ko, tapos may nag, may, 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 may gumamit, hindi na po bumalik sa akin. Then after many years, when I look at myself and my life, I said, Lord, I made a promise na magbabayad ako. Hindi ko nagawa. 
I do not know the name of the ministry. Hindi ko na matandaan. Hindi ko na makita yung mga papers ko kasi from Tondo. But I know, sabi ko, Lord, gusto ko siyang bayaran. Paano ko mababayaran? Kaya nga sabi ko nung kabataan ko, sabi ko, no, I was very ideal na para bang a lot of things could happen to me. Kaya parang po ang libro. Some of the books talaga, majority of the, of the books that I have, talagang binigay ko. But there are some of the books na talagang gustong gusto ko na talagang I made a promise na babayaran ako. But I was not true to my promise. At hindi ko na po matandaan yung ministry. And sometimes I, I try to go back with my with mga inaamag ko ng mga sugar. Wala eh, wala din. Ba't ko po sinabi yan? Kasi po, deep inside, alam po natin, no? maski tayo, meron tayong kulang sa mga ibang taong dapat natin natulungan. Pero nung po tayong kulang sa mga tao na dapat maski paano na-share na natin ng gospel. Pero nung po tayong kulang sa mga tao na dapat nabigyan natin ng pagmamahal. Anak natin, kabiyak natin, kasambahay natin. People that God has allowed to enter into our lives. Alam po natin, no, para bang ang katotohanan, Lord, ang hirap mahalin kasi pasaway. Lord, ang hirap mahalin kasi ang daming excuses sa buhay. Lord, kasi pag nagbigay ng attention doon, umutang na naman. Marami po. But the reason that I'm mentioning that is this. Even though alam natin deep inside, hindi natin mababayaran mga kulang natin sa may ibang tao. And deep inside, alam natin na marami pa tayong kulang. But one thing that I assure you, lahat ng kulang mo na hindi mababayaran, especially ang kasalanan natin, if you're here, if you're online, binayaran na po ng Panginoon. There are things na alam natin hindi natin mababayaran. Gumamaya yung gusto natin yung, yung apology or even yung extension ng forgiveness na dapat nabigay natin. Hindi na po natin mabigay. Gumamaya wala na po yung tao na yun. But the point taken is, anak, siguro sinasabi sa akin ni God no, ngayon, no? anak, alam ko kung saan kulang. At hindi mo na mababayaran yung kulang. Especially yung kulang mong kasalanan. Uh, we acknowledge nga ba yung shopping ako no, as our main sponsor. Hindi ba ganun po dahil? Okay. Ba't ganun? Regardless of whatever limitations that we have, God will always be on our side to forgive us. Kaya nga po, no, pagdating sa kapwa natin kristyano, eh, hindi, hindi lang po masama na sasabihin ko ito, no? But sometimes, Don't expect justice. Give grace. Kasi po kaya minsan sumasama love natin, no, dapat ginawa mo ito eh. Pero siguro no, kung pag sinabi sa akin ni God, dapat ginawa mo rin yan, anak eh. Eh no, nagbiguro lang naman ako eh. No? <laughs> eh, biro rin no. Siguro no, minsan na, natatawa sa sarili ko na parang I have that imaginary conversation. Pero pag sinabi ko ito, ano kaya nasabi mo sa akin? So, no, baka patukam mo ako. Hindi naman po, hindi naman po ganun ang, 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 ang image ko kay God. But the point na minsan na ako mapapansin natin, no? when we expect other things from other people, and God will expect that to us, hindi natin magagawa. Kaya pasalaman lang tayo, no? talagang dahil ang pagmamahal ng Diyos is only by grace sa atin. We have nothing to do. Tama po. So the problem with Jesus ito na po, no? John chapter 9 verse 7. He entered his headquarters. Ito po si Pontius Pilate. Again, he said, where are you from? Nagtatanong na siya kung saan si Jesus Christ. No? Hindi natin alam, ha? Pag sinabi ni Jesus Christ, taga Nazareth siya, nang sabihin naman ni Pontius Pilate, hiloso po ka talaga, no? kaya ka nandito. No? But hindi. Jesus gave him no answer because there's no other answer that he needs. Kasi alam mo naman eh, para bang alam mo na yung binigay na, na, na nandito ka, you are, you found me that I have no guilt. You will not speak to me? I won't pass up Do you not know that I have authority to release you and authority to crucify you? This answer then. You will have no authority over me unless it have been given you from God. 
Ano gagawin natin? So, sabi ni Ponce Pilate, okay, eto problema ko sa mood ko, gusto lang patay ka. Okay, eto problema ko, there should be a justice system para sa'yo. But eto lang, kinakawasan kita, ayaw mo naman kausapin yung pagbalik, pumamaya. Baka pwede, pwede natin magawa ng paraan. Tumangon dyan na to ay para tumanimig na rin. Baka pwede kang magkaroon ng himala. Baka pwede mong patunayan na talagang ano. No? It could be. We don't really know. Pero nung isa, nag-power to na si Ponsus Pilot dito, sinabi niya, no? Do you not know? Minsan ganun, no? Pag meron, ng, pag, pag meron tayo nakakaaway, kaya minsan wapansin ko, no? Ako pa yung minsan, pag wala pong gustong gawin na matino, Parang tama ba sa nabi ko? Pag minsan walang gusto ng gawin gawin natin ang... Ako pa yung nasa, nasa, sa YouTube, yung kamakamote drivers. Nabi ko, sila na nga yung mali, sila pa yung matapang. Tapos sasabihin din sa, kilala mo ba ako? Kung ako siguro na nasabihin ko, may ID ka ba? Parang, what the hell? Nagkataan naman na, baka away na naman. But what's the point? Minsan kasi na parang, deep inside of our hearts, Nagpa-power trip tayo. Sometimes yung power tripping natin is a sense of control. Parang sometimes yung power tripping natin sa sabi na untouchable ka. But sometimes no, pag pag-pag-isipin natin, kung everything in your life is given by God, kanina talaga yung power? Kanina talaga yung talent? Kanina talaga yung alam? Kanina talaga yung sinasabi mong source of confidence mo? Wala sa iyo. Kay God yan. Kaya nga sa akin, Jesus Christ, you have no authority over me unless it has been given for me. Everything that happens in our lives happens for a season and a reason. It could be a season in your life that God has shown me something. But the main reason, anak, The main reason that it that is happening to you, sooner or later, it could be painful. But I would like you, based on the grace and based on the purpose that I have for you, to be like Jesus Christ. What's the spirit? Nihinan ng gagawin niya. So, in the sense, sinabi niya, kasi gaming, ito, ito gusto ng tao, okay, ito gusto ng mudyo. Alam ko, kasi kung bibigyan ko ng justice to Jesus Christ, magkaroon na ng problema eh. A survival na lang. Kaya minsan na yung mga survival needs, it doesn't work when you need when you need to have justice. Kasi ganun ginagawa ng nanakaw, ba't mo nanakaw? Alam mo mali. Kasi magugutom ako eh. Ba't mo sinaktan? Kasi ayaw mo kayo. Parang kung dati, no, I think it was two years ago, no, or one year ago, no, para bang yung tao na nagbibeta po ng pares, pauwi na po, tapos tinuto ka ng baril. Ito ba yung nangyari po sa tunod? Okay. Tinuto ka ng baril. Bigay mo yung pera mo. Hindi niya binigay kasi pinaghirapan niya yung pera niya. Binaril. Tapos yun ako lang sinabi, hindi, ba't yung binaril? Hindi niya binigay yung pera eh. Kasalanan niya eh. In fact, imagine that no, a person who already committed the crime. Ang justification niya kasi hindi niya binigay yung pera eh. Kung binigay niya, boy pa siya. Kasi yun ang yun, 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 delusion sa atin as time goes on. We think our survival needs is better than a justice for them. Yun ang nakita ko yung conscious pilot eh. If Jesus Christ, okay, papalusin ko to, ganyan ganyan siguro, then tusumbong ako sa room, mawawala yung position ko, mawawala yung, yung power ko, mawawala yung prestige ko, hindi. Okay niya siguro sa akin to. Sa tao lang naman yan. Tsaka sino ba si Jesus Christ? sa mga tao na matay na. Because we don't really know who God is. There's a reason sometimes no, we make decisions on ourselves. Because sometimes we do not really know how God will act on our lives. Taking the side of Jesus will always be unpopular even though It is right. And it's not. Nung baby Christian ka po ako, I think it was 1988 or 89, when I was trying to share the word, the gospel to my friends, I was pers- I was persecuted. Di naman ako sinaktan, but the point is parang nilolo, oh, burn again, burn again. 
Ano ba? Hindi yan ang totoo. Ah, ah, siguro, na-experience na po yun na para bang every time that you would like to share the gospel sa mga close friends mo, kasi alam mo, mga parangala mo ito, mahal mo ito, right? Ayaw mong mapunta sa impyerna eh. Even though you try to share the gospel, wala, sarado pa. Pero baka during that time, hindi pa God's appointed time for them. But maski paala, no? You were strong enough to say, if you don't receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you will go to Him. Ayaw ni God yun. Pero dahil may kasalanan ka, and God is a God of justice, and God is a God of holiness, and you have not received the grace of God, then the judgment to you, for you, is a Parang hindi labing, no? But I think, no, minsan mapapansin natin, no? When you look at the cross, does that really love the love? It was sacrificial. Kasi ang in-expect natin love, para bang God will tolerate our sin. Pero hindi, si, hindi ganun magmahal si God. God will provide for you. God will protect you. But God will never tolerate your sin. That's the reason there's a sentence, a death sentence for sin. I find no guilt in Him. 1838. 194. I find no guilt in Him. I find no guilt in Him. Rabbi, no? The greatest injustice in the world is to let an innocent person die for the mistakes of other people. Yun po talaga, no? When, when we look at injustice, that Jesus Christ died on our sins, dapat tayo yun, right? If we look for justice, sino ba dapat ang nasa cross? Sino ba dapat ang mamatay? Siyempre, yung taong nagkasala. But when, 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 when we look at this, and supposedly an innocent person dying for the sins of the world, an innocent person dying for the religious mistakes for the political mistakes for the personal mistakes of his people and that is injustice but that's the point God in order to provide justice for himself for our sins died sinless and he has to take the sins and the judgment for us to be forgiven. And that is injustice. But God made it justice for us to have a relationship with Him. Justice is not just the absence of guilt, but the courage to, to be led by the truth. So ito nga po challenge sa ating ngayon, no? Para bang, alam natin, Jesus Christ died for our sins. Yan, totoo. But are we supposed to be, in a sense, leading, living our lives based on the truth that God has provided? In every critical moment of life, being courageous against the world is an act of God in your life. May isang po, sasabi na nung, huwag kang umating sa church, huwag mong Huwag kang maging Christian, huwag kang maging born again, huwag mong tagapin si Jesus Christ kasi masisira lang ulo mo or what. But, if you know the truth, accepting Jesus Christ is an act of courage. Kasi the world will always be against you. And sometimes ako na-experience ganyan eh. Yung nanay ko kasi hindi niya naman mamunawahan na ba't ako naging Christian? Yung may ibang pita ko dati, para naging Christian. Siguro naka-rate tayo na if, if, if you have experienced some persecution. But ganun, no? In spite of the persecution, an act of receiving Jesus Christ Lord of, as Lord and Savior is an act of making things right for you. Receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is an act of making things right for you. Why? Dapat ikaw ang patay. Ikaw dapat ang nasa cross. However, 
the best way that you could make it right is for you to receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. So, natapos na po tayo sa uh, challenges of Pontius Pilate. Pasabi po ulit, challenge. challenge. Tuloy po tayo o diretsya po? Tuloy pa. Uh, ayaw yung diretsya, tuloy na lang po tayo. So, ito tuloy na po natin. No? The challenges of the passage. Ito po. Okay. Para ilang ba yan? Ay, sorry. Buti, buti na lamang po, no? Sorry. Thank you, Brother Ruel. At least alam ko na lang pareho pala yun. So, uh, so ayaw mo nang tuloy, diretsya na lang. Then, Pastor, tuloy na lang. Oh, sige, sige. <laughs> so, ito po ang challenge of the process for everybody, no? especially po nasa Facebook tayo, kung uh, online po tayo ngayon. No? Refusing the truth in the critical moments of life. They were already, no? so based on John chapter 18, verse 13, pinapili na po sila. Sino gusto mo, si Barabbas or si Jesus Christ? Ang sagot po ng mga Hudyo, Barabbas. Bakit? Wala. Hindi na sinagot bakit eh. Kasi sometimes ganun, no? Kung ayaw mo kay God, any other option is good enough for you. Balik ako lang po sinabi ko, no? Kung ayaw mo kay God, any other option is good enough for you. Basta huwag lang si God. Okay na saan si Satan. Basta huwag lang si God. Okay na saan yung mga bagkada ko. Basta huwag lang si God. Okay na saan ang girlfriend ko. Basta huwag lang si God. Okay na saan ang trabaho ko. Basta huwag lang si God. And, and that is the problem that, that we all have. Misa na ako pagsinishare ng mga ibang tao. No? Okay na ako. I don't need God in my life anymore. Kasi nandun yung sense of security mo eh. Nandun yung sense na para bang okay ka na eh. But deep inside, alam natin, you're reducing the truth in a critical moment of your life. And truth is difficult when we are afraid to live outside the comfort of our lives. Okay, balik ako lang po. Truth is difficult when we are afraid to live outside the comfort of our lives. Kasi alam natin last time goes, ano, ang uh, deception will always make you comfortable. Kasi yan nature ng deception eh. Instead of being courageous, gusto mo lang comfort. Ayaw mo na ng abala, ayaw mo na ng problema. Kasi ganun ang ginagawa ng truth eh. The truth in order for you to be changed, babasagin kami. Another thing is this now, resisting the authority of God. We have no king but Caesar. Maybe this is the moment you hear that na parang sinasabi sa inyo, anak, tagal ka na na wala sa church. It's time for you to return. It's time for you to come home. Parang sa akin, huwag muna Lord. But there's a time in the season na minsan si God's Advent, Anak, ayoko mo na magsawa na invite kita ulit. But I will respect your decision kung ayaw mo na ma-invite. But, it's, but right now, this is a time for you to come back. This is time for you to return or come home. Resisting God is assisting that man has a better life outside of God's will. Can we really have a better life outside the purpose and will of God? It doesn't mean porkit nasa will ka ni God, tagangyayamang ka. It doesn't mean porkit nasa will ka ni God, wala akong problema. It doesn't mean because nasa will ka ni God, wala akong issue sa buhay. But, nandito ang deserve kasi eh. If you are outside of God's will in your life, are you saying na you are better off? Ano mang estado, ano mang kalagayan ng buhay mo, that you are better off without God's will and God's purpose in your life. Dapat hindi. Pero minsan, no, mapapansin natin, no, yung may ibang tao, I don't need God in my life kasi everything is good. But not everything is good. Kaya nga, siguro this is the first time kung sasabihin ko sa church, no? Meron pong term na ginagamit when I was in campus ministry. Yung sinasabi lang, Satan's blessing. Ako minsan, parang mang inisip ko, parang kalokohan naman yata yun. Parang, how will Satan bless you? 
but but gamitin na lang po yun ah, for this particular time, okay? So, meron pong techno, uh, meron pong theological na lang dun ah, para bang um, meron theological paradox na po dun ah. But ko sinasabi na, sometimes if Satan knows how to keep you from going God, from knowing God, and you are comfortable with the life that Satan has given you, or the life that Satan has led you, Satan has no problem giving you happiness, quote to, giving you riches, giving you supposedly the luxuries of the world. Satan has no problem. Ang problema ng Satan is when you come near the truth and accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. That's the reason the greatest weapon in Satan is always deception. Kasi the moment that you think that you really need, that, that you don't really need God, you're under Satan's blessing. Parang masakit, no? Parang bang sinasabi mo, parang kung hindi Christian, hindi ba ako papaya ng Diyos? Technically, no, parang ganda, no? There are common grace, but there is a grace na binibigay ni God para sa mga bangka, sa, para sa mga anak niyo. So, resolving the problem of Jesus, we have no king but Caesar. Hindi ko muna po tatapusin itong sermon na ito, no? But, since this is our first Sunday of the month, but this is the challenge that we all have, okay? Para ang tanong po doon na ito, no? Ito po ang tanong. Okay? The only important choice that, that will affect your eternity is to resist or receive Jesus Christ today. So, this is for our, our communion Sunday po, no? So, um, I would like to ask si Brother Paolo po, so, ganito po, no? yung mga iba po na first time lang pong tatanggap sa Panginoon or will receive Jesus Christ, I will just lead you to a prayer. Okay? So, uh, repeat this prayer with me. Lord, I know that I am a sinner. Alam ko po, nagkamali po ako sa inyo. Alam ko po, Lord God, na may mga utang ako na hindi ko na po mababayaran. May mga kasalanan ako na lumutan ko na, na hindi ko na rin monawaan kung paano hihingin ng tawag. But right now, Lord, I know that you are good, that you have sacrificed your life for us to have eternal life. Lord, right now, I open up my heart to receive you as my Lord and as my Savior. Give me the deposit of the Holy Spirit for me to know that I have eternal life because of what you have done on the cross. I receive you right now and I give you full authority and control of my name. In Jesus' name. If that's the first time that you have is if you have done receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, congratulations po. But for all of us na Christiano na po, na, na tumagap na po sa Panginoon, let me just read to you a passage. Ito po ay matatagpuan sa 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 17. So, kung meron po kayong uh, Bible, uh, you can also read it with me. Basahin ko lang po, no? But in the following instructions, I do not commend you. Because when you come together, it is not for the better, but for the worse. For in the first place, when you come together as a church, I hear that there are divisions among you. And I believe it in part. For there must for there must be functions among you in order that those who are genuine among you may be recognized. When you come together, it is not the Lord's Supper that you eat. For in eating, each one goes ahead with his own meal. One goes hungry, another gets drunk. What? Do you not have houses to eat and drink? Or do you despise the church of God? and humiliate those who have nothing. What shall I say to you? Shall I commend you in this? I will not. For I have received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night when he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, I also... He took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 
For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Whoever therefore eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty concerning the body and the blood of the Lord. Let a person examine himself then and so eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For anyone who eats and drinks without discerning, the body eats and drinks judgment on his own. That is why many of you are weak and ill. Some have died. But if we judge ourselves truly, we will not be judged. But when we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may be condemned, so that we may not be condemned to the world. But when we look at 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 11, verse 17, about the Lord's Supper, two things lang po na medyo lumalabas mo. Remember the reason that we are doing the Lord's Supper. It is 2,000 years ago that Jesus Christ died on the cross for us, for our sins. Na dapat tayo ang nasa cross. But sa po ang nag-substitute sa akin to die on the cross. Remember the reason. Yung pangalaw po, respond to the person. Let me say, respond to the person we respond to the authority and the Lordship of Jesus Christ. The things that He has done for us. We respond in submission to His authority. We respond to His grace, to His, to His strength. We respond because the things na alam natin na kulang, si God lang ang nagbibigay ang kakulitan. Ito po ay bread. Isa lang pong ordinary bread. But in Christian practice, this bread represents the body of Jesus Christ. Remember the reason that it is not your body. This is a representation, a symbol of the body of Christ. Sa mga katawan, na walang kasalanan, na nagdusa, para po sa atin. Remember the pain. Remember the message. Remember the meaning. Every time that you feel na parang kulang pasigat sa'yo, remember the reason for the bread. At inyin po natin ng bread. At inyin po natin. Lord, as we take the bread, we remember, Lord God, that it was you, and not me, not us, Lord God, who died on the cross. It was only through your grace. This cup symbolizes the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on Calvary. But this represents the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Ganun po kahalaga ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin that He was willing to share His own blood. Maybe this is the time that we have to revisit kung sino si God sa buhay natin. Maybe this is the time that when we drink of the cup, Lord, I need revival in my life. Can you give revival in my life? And know, Lord God, it's only through your blood that made it possible. Lord, can you restore my soul and the joy of my salvation? Lord, can you rekindle the passion that I have in serving you? Lord, can I have a renewed vision of who I am before you? Let's reflect and, 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 and ask ourselves, Lord, it is your blood 
make us worthy because it is precious to you. Let's take the cup. Let's do it. Lord, as we drink our blood, the symbol of your blood, Lord, we ask right now that make us, Lord God, pure and holy. And we thank you, Lord God, serving under the will of the Father, serving in humility, serving in compassion, serving, Lord God, other people. Lord, we know that it is only by your grace that we are worthy. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, for your blood that was shed on Calvary. And Lord, right now, we just ask, Lord God, that make us, make us, Lord God, like new believers, always hungry to know you in our lives. In Jesus' name. Bago po natin tapusin, Minsan, ito po yung challenge sa atin. Eh? Especially, kung kayo po hindi pa po Christian. Si S. Lewis is a man na kilala po sa Chronicles of Narnia. But basahin ko lang po ito, no? And how he was able to see. Si S. Lewis po is an atheist. Naging Christian po siya kasi because of uh, uh, K. Tolkien. He was part of the group ng atheists. A man who was merely a man and said the, the, the sort of things Jesus said would not be a great moral teacher. He would either be a lunatic. On a level with a man who says he is a poached egg, or else he would be the devil of hell. You must make your choice. Either this man was and is the son of God, or else a madman or something worse. You can shut him up for a fool. You can spit at him and kill him as a demon. Or you can call at his feet and call him Lord and God. But let us not come with any patronizing nonsense about his being a great human teacher. He has not left that open to us. There, there are three things that na, na, na we lang po ni C.S. Lewis. Okay? Jesus Christ could be a lunatic, he could be a liar, or he could be lunatic. But all the things that Jesus Christ had done, even based on the Gospel, hindi po siya lumalabas na lunatic, hindi rin po siya lumalabas na lamin. The only option, the only logical, reasonable option, that Jesus Christ is Lord, that He is God Himself incarnate. Ano po ang problem po natin? During the time in John chapter 19, will you take on the side of Jesus Christ or will you take on the side of Barabbas? Will you have Jesus Christ as king or Julius Caesar as king? The only important choice that will affect your eternity is to resist or receive Jesus Christ today. Kaya po, kaya po na share ng gospel po sa inyo, especially sa mga online audience po natin. It's for us to really come together to know who Jesus Christ is, that He is Lord and Savior. Kami po dito po sa isip to those who are partaking of the Lord's Supper. We have that relationship with Jesus Christ. And we know that relationship is true. Because we are living under the grace of God. And we have lived a life that is changed by God. Tayo po yung May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you. Anak! Maybe this is a time for you to be restored. Accept the restoration of the Lord. Anak, maybe this is a time for you to rekindle your passion. Accept the fire from the Lord. Anak, maybe this is time for you to redeem your mistakes. Accept the redemption of the Lord. Anak, maybe this is time for you to be restored, to be revisited, to be rekindled. But this is time for you to be renewed only in the image of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. May God's blessing, may His peace, may His grace, may the power and the indwelling of the Holy Spirit be among you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise God. Blessings flow.
Hear me.